Greater Miami Jewish Federation has a Women's Impact Initiative grant, which I think they've done for a couple of years. And basically it's money given to any organization, any activity, any event that will impact women. Under the guidance of the Legacy Heritage Teacher Institute, we put together um, two side-by-side -side curricula that would um, complement one another. So Ellie and I said, we're going to do it in 11th grade. He's going to do it in his ethics class, and I'm going to do it in my Jewish history class. To be able to address head-on with intelligence and, uh, and scholarship a real-life, modern-day issue. We felt that to really impact the students is to make them actively involved, not only in the learning, but experiencing what it means to be a woman with a shifting world. If we have even one student, or even friends of students who are questioning whether or not men and women have equal rights to, to participate in Jewish ritual, um, then we all have to explore it from a place without bias or prejudice. It's about identifying the changes and of uh, the perspective of women through the eyes of men and the rest of society, how they perceive the woman and their capabilities over time. We have to find um, somebody in our community or in our family who has lived through many years and many instances uh, as a Jewish woman and we have to interview them and write, write an essay about them and also create an art piece that embodies who they are as a Jewish woman. I'm going to be interviewing a 103 years old lady, which is basically the central part of our uh, project. I'm, I'm really lucky I'm interviewing my grandma. And she, um, she lived everywhere in her childhood and she also ended up living most of her adult life in Venezuela and it was really interesting to see how her life as a Jewish woman was able to reflect. I can see the shift in the way they're thinking. It's very nice. And also it's nice when they interview their grandmothers. Like, you know, some grandmothers were quite resistant to the questions. They didn't want it to change, right? And other grandmothers, you know, were quite open to the idea and had to reflect on the way they grew up in the 50s or 60s or whatever they grew up. Every parent believes that their daughter should be one, kind, two, respectful, and three, respected. And I believe that my grandma was all three. Those traits are something that I want my daughter to be able to do, if, I, if I'm ever blessed with a daughter. Every, every new century, every new decade, there's some, that we break new ground, we do new things. History has shown that it repeats itself, so I'm really excited to see what will happen in just 20 years, or maybe 10, what I'll do, what my sisters and my mom will do. We all have so much to do, it's going to be really fun, I'm excited.